Welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Cigar Reviews. My name is James Wiedenbeck. I'm from the Tinderbox in Buffalo, New York. And today my review for you is on the Padron Damaso. This is the Toro 6x52 number 15 size that I have in my hand here. They do make it in three other sizes as well. The sizes are numbered, not named, but basically they uh, equate to a Corona, a Robusto, a Toro, and a Churchill. This cigar was named for Damaso Padron, grandfather to Jose Orlando Padron. Damaso Padron was the first family member to grow tobacco in Cuba. And this is a different Padron. It's a Connecticut shade wrapper Padron. If that wasn't different enough, it's round and not box pressed. And to go even further, it comes in cellophane. It can't get any more different than that. Well, Connecticut seed wrapper, and, and that's what they tell us. It's a Connecticut seed wrapper. They don't give the country of origin. I'm guessing it is a Ecuadorian grown Connecticut wrapper just from the tasting notes that I'm getting from it and from the feel of the wrapper. I'm guessing it's Ecuadorian, but again, that's, that's an educated guess. Don't take that as gospel. Uh, the binder and filler is all Nicaraguan. Tasting notes on this, it's got a bit of pepper, uh, not overwhelming so, but it's there and it comes and goes. It's, it's cedary, it's creamy. Uh, there's, there's a bit of nuttiness in here as well. And as you can see, this is classic Padron construction. Uh, you can see that, that ash hanging on there. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to tap this to get this off. It, it, it's probably not gonna fall very soon. Just a fantastic uh, construction on, on this cigar. Now, Padrones, you're, you're, you're used to being medium to full in strength. This is mild to medium. In our one to five scale, it's a two. So if you're a fan of, say, the Romeo and Julieta Reserva Reals, you know, the ones with the, the red band, give this a shot. It's, it's a little bit stronger, but not much. And you definitely get some different flavor notes out of this because of the Nicaraguan tobacco in it. It's worth a try. This is not a cheap cigar by any stretch of the imagination. I, the MSRP on this, I, I think is $15. And that's, you know, MSRP, not in, you know, you're not gonna find that price on, on, in, in our wonderful state of New York with our crazy taxes. But uh, it's, it's an expensive cigar. It, it ranks up there with some uh, expensive uh, Connecticut. So, Give it a shot. It's worth a try. If you want to treat yourself to a, uh, a, a very good Connecticut cigar and you don't care about spending a little bit of extra coin, give it a shot. It's definitely worth it. I, I, unless, unless you're wealthy, it's not an everyday smoke, but uh, this is a, uh, definitely a, a, a Connecticut to treat yourself with once in a while. And with, with that said too, on, on the strength wise, I wouldn't consider this, I, a morning cigar, uh, you know, if, if you're used to something mild, maybe have this mid-afternoon, because uh, it, it does have a little bit more strength than, than your very mild stuff. Thank you very much for watching the review. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.